Harry Brandy831, what's 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 cracking? What's good, man? Mr. Goyle. Big Goyle, what's up, Goyle? Mad Max 408, Jay Sankel, Noah. Hold on, let me get this to let me get this to Sam, man. So we can get this out to you guys tonight, man. Bam. Just dropped another inner demons for you guys, man. Where's that? At? Jay Sankal, Noah Carrillo, Mo Money, Britannia, Rosie, your idea. Tiny Two Angels, Chris Velez, Tino the Mino, Mad Max 408, Victor Moore. What that motherfucking you got be like, homeboy? Big figures. You know what's up, big figures. Romo Rodriguez. Junior, Timo Domino, A. Carlos, Low Riding Story and King, M. Star Media. How you doing, M. Star Media? John Balcazar. What's up, man? Mon Lynx. Big Machete, man. Shout out to Eastside Sanjo. Eastside San Jose in the house. What's up, Big Iron Bear? Supernatural, supernatural. I appreciate you, my boy. I'm gonna keep him, I'm gonna keep him coming too, man. Chemo, everlasting base, day one or Toko. What's up, my boy? I send mine right back, man. I send mine as home. The fool appreciate the inner demon since those of us from that era. That's right. That's right, Toko. I just dropped another one. Inner Demons. I almost, I almost forgot to give Inner Demons some love, man. I've been on the war stories for the last couple days. A. Cortez, Watsonville in the house. Chupa mi verga. What's up, man? Street Biz. Mad Max 408. Pancho Zapata. Joshua. The Big Homie Hangout. Rolando Lenos. Joshua, you was up. Was you about to go on or what, man? Timo the Timo the motherfucking ghetto star. Was Mexican Mike you spoke on last video from Oakland? Yes, he was with one. <clears throat> with one what? He was a hood legend. Yeah, that's the same one of uh, motherfucking. It's the same one, Chris. There's only one Mexican Mike. Uh, fucking. I'm on there, boy. I'm already on there. I'm like Shaq right now. My eyes leaking. You guys notice that about Shaq? Motherfucker eyeball always leaking. <laughs> Martin 9400, man. Look at all the day oneers coming out, man. What, what the fuck? What's today? A Wednesday? Rich DM 650. I appreciate you, Noah. Salute to you, man. <sighs> Fat ass Dave. Big Moose in the house. What's up, Moose? No, no. Goyle Farmetto tapped in. What's up, Farmetto? Yeah, man. Uh that last war story, I had to, I had to think about that one before I before I dropped it up, Palmetto. I had to switch switch some things up, man. I ain't trying to get caught up, boy. Over here, chopping it up, running my mouth. Somebody comes through my front door, man.
No, nah, man, they ain't shit it out yet, Machete. Not yet. Big Jason. What, what's up, Jason? I just reflected back, bro. I slapped Ray around because of you. <laughs> you slapped Ray around because of me? I just I just remember not trying to sound tough at all. He was in front of your old 80s house on Cap. I used to stroll through going. Yeah, man. Uh, you know what, Jason? I say this, man. His brother Gus is cool as fuck. And uh, I had a lot of love for Ray. But I honestly, he never went by a boxer, bro. He never went by that fucking name until I went to the joint. I came home and he was going by a boxer. I, was, I, I just laughed about it because, uh, you know, he's he, he was a good cat. He's all right, man. But that day, bro, that day, man, uh, motherfucker, man, I got my teeth knocked out because of that fool. Drunk. Can't fight. That fool can't fight for shit, bro. And when I was telling that story, man, I was thinking, you know what? Since since the whole time I've been fucking with that dude, I ain't never seen him go heads up with nobody, bro. Every time he got into some shit, it was always he was always jumping in because of something I was doing. But I thought about it, I was like, I never seen this dude. I ain't never seen him get him up with nobody, man. And then when I did, I was like, now I know why. Yeah, Ray. Like, I got a lot of history with this little brother, Tiny, too, man. A lot of history, bro. Tiny's a good dude, man. Matter of fact, when... Uh... Hold up, man. Let me... You know what? I think I'm on the wrong Wi-Fi. How I look, man? I look all fucked up. I mean, I know I'm an ugly motherfucker, man. I'm saying it's my Wi-Fi fucked up. No, I'm on the right one. Can't do nothing about that. Um, did you ever have any legit jobs while on parole because you had to have one? Nah, uh, I never stayed out long enough. Uh, um, Big Moose, I was always... I stay out one time. I stayed out a day. I stayed out two weeks. I stayed out three weeks. I think the longest I ever stayed out was on my second number. I'm blurry, man. I don't know what I don't know what to do about that, man. Let me see. Fucking Wi-Fi. Let me see. Let me see how this blurry motherfucker looks, man. All right, man. Something tells me it looks a little bit better. Thank you, uh, Renee Q. My first case as a juvenile was for spraying up a car of Southsiders in that same area. Fuckers told on me, pick me up, pick me in the homie. And well, uh, If you think about it, Farmetto, just listen to what I'm telling you. If uh, there was, there's a house that's right there by uh, by that hood right there. There's a house with a couple brothers right there. Do you know what house I'm talking about? Hypervigilance, whacked out, Rodolfo Alvarez, Bailon, 18, the Don. What would I do if I ran in the Lancho? I'd smack the fucking dog shit out of his ass right now. I'm just keeping it 100 with you, man. I give him a good ass palm slap, man. Good old fashioned palm slap. I don't know, man. He's from what I heard, keeping 100 with you, man. He's, he's, dudes, I don't know if he's in a wheelchair, but he's all fucked up. He's falling apart. You know, it wouldn't be no victory for me, man. Whooping on somebody like, dude's a slouch. 
he uh like i said when i when i say he's got a hundred chronos for everything i'm not even lying lynch was in a wheelchair see when i say he's got a hundred chronos i'm not even bullshitting he does man he got chronos for everything blanket pillow socks t-shirt extra towel a fucker he's one of them dudes that cries about everything Yo, wet wipes to your face. Wet wipes to my face. What are you trying to say, man? I'm 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 greasy or something. Come on, home boy. That's the glare, man. Cool playing with me, boy. How I feel about the purge law? That's uh the purge law. That's some that's some crazy shit. You're talking about the no cash bail. That's some bullshit, man. I think it's some bullshit. Boxer boxing it, boxing it up was. What's up, box? How you doing, there, box? You crazy getting locked up again? Same day you got out for saving Ray. Yeah, man. Luckily, uh, luckily I caught a cool ass. I mean, the cop that arrested us was cool, man, because he could have took us in. I was on parole, but he he cut me a break, man. And uh, like I was telling you guys, man, earlier in the day, I remember Ray gave me that crystal. I don't fuck with crystal, man. I, you guys know my history. I was always a downtown type of dude. I don't, I never liked uptown. For a brief time when I was younger and I used to, when I was running around out there, I used to speedball. But that's what that, uh, that was with that ether base coke back in the day when they used to put ether in, in that shit and you hit that you feel that rush in your chest poof but like crystal none of that shit man i never fucking even tried it man but when homeboy gave me that shit he was like yeah i don't even want this shit man he's like if you can sell it sell it so i put it in my pocket but when, when i got to that jail that cop started searching me i fucking remembered about that shit man too late i'm cuffed up he's searching me but he kept on those isotoner gloves and when he went to put his hand in my pocket he reached in there and he pulled his hand out it, it could have fell out he could have felt it none of that he overlooked it i caught two breaks man straight up that ever happened to anybody any of you you ever met a homeboy Oh boy, Joe. Joe from Kokomo. Joe Lopez, Big Papa from Salinas. That sounds familiar, Big Papa. You don't run into too many cats with that name. It's like they used to call me KC. King Chili. <laughs> I'm bullshitting, man. Big Papa. Hey, boxing. Purge Law is hype. Did a video on it. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yo. No cash bail. <clears throat> so, oh, um, yeah, you guys, uh, I don't know what the fuck's going on with YouTube, man, but they keep flagging. They're flagging all my videos, man. The only videos they are not flagging are inner demons and war stories. Luckily, they're flagging everything else. That nip video is still yellow. My lives are yellow. Um. So that's why, I mean, I've been trying to get some content out to you guys, man, but I got a lot of shit that's held up right now. Sandman is is going through his shit too. So right now I I gotta I gotta drop the content, edit it myself, and uh, some of it the 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 chapters I'm doing it myself. Sandman he's sabbing it out. He's still trying to get inner demons and in, in, um, war stories done, but I'm doing like the. I read the chapters, then I edit them. If you notice, I, I, I uh, 
added a new element to the chapter. So instead of some of you probably don't even matter because those of you that listen to those, you probably listen to them when you're driving. But um, I added pictures so that you're not just looking at the, so you're not just, okay, he just got that last inner demon right now. So you're not just looking at the, the, the cover of the book for the whole videos. It gives you something to look at. The first one I did was Bandito's, the Bandito Massacre. So they caught WAC 100 lacking. He was on Clubhouse, but naked, moving on Pyro. <laughs> Yes, sir. I will definitely read that after uh, I get off uh, S1. PZ, the producer. What if you dropped a Nipsey Hustle video as a members only, then drop it? What's that going to do? Uh, what's that Why, why, what's, what's, is that some kind of way around, uh, shit, Josh? So drop it members only. Doesn't it still got to get cleared or, or, uh, it doesn't, does, when you drop a members only video, does it get monetized or no? Who keeps? Oh, shit. Goyo wants to show his diet. It's Goyo's diet. Avocado, tomatoes, boiled eggs, tri-tip, and a piece of cheese. What's the worst thing a PO threatens you with? The worst thing a PO threatened me with? Um, parole violation? That's all motherfucker could do. It's the worst thing a PO threaten you with. Uh, machete threatened uh threatened to uh for tickets. Let me see. Yeah, threatened to violate me, man, for some stupid shit. Yes, I did. I got you for three, six, nine, ten. Five more tickets. So, bam. Telly Savalas, Mr. No Name. I said mine's only. Yeah, it's good to see you too, man. Good Lord. Daniel Ortiz, Anthony T. What's your longest prison sentence? My longest prison sentence? 16 years. 16 years, eight months. It's like that. There ain't no tomorrow. You got to do like, uh, get on my diet, Goyle. You really want to lose some weight. Can't believe how much weight I lost in the last two months, man. Two, two and a half months now. Lost another 10 pounds, boy. How do you deal with the hater without whooping their ass? Shit. What, what kind of hater? 
like one of these YouTube haters or like somebody out here on the street. Every scenario is case by case, man. Did John Blanco roll it up in Susanville? No, nah, Moose, he actually got whacked. After we did that in the chow hall, I think I mentioned this in, in one of my inner demons. So I told you a lot of those northerners, a lot of them, uh, they got victimized. After we did what we did, there was like four or five incidents where they were hitting homeboys. They were, they were on modified feeding for a while. And... John Blanco, John Blanco ended up pulling up. We heard he was out there on the, on the three yards. I knew he was going to probably be a target. And what happened was is they were doing modified feeding. And, and you know, when they're feeding, how they open up that Sally Port door right up under the gun tower, and they, they'll let it fill up, and then they'll close. The door leads into the building, and then they'll pop the yard door. Well, that yard that filled up there was probably like four or five northerners in there and i'm like 15 south siders piled up in there and when you're posted just standing there with your back against the wall i guess one of them one of them tried to plug them right there and it was on man but he he didn't roll it up he got hit man and we were like Every time they came in, like, you big old fucking dummy. Told you, stupid motherfuckers. That's what you guys get for trying to stay out there and program. My dad, DJ, see no evil, said, what's, what's up? And that he's listening and that he sends this. Raina Rust, you tell your dad I send mine right back and I appreciate his support. Big Bus, can I get a, can I get a shout out, bro? Mad love for song. Christopher Torres. Shout out to Christopher Torres, my boy. I, I send mine to you, homie. Song ho in, in the motherfucking hizzle. Mad love right back at you, bro. Carlos Reyes. Listen to your podcast and all that. Just got to say much respect coming, coming out of H-Town. Shout out to H-Town, man. Sinho City 702, Goyle's wife. With all due respect. I think I heard of John Blanco. Yeah, you heard of John Blanco S1. Come on, boy. Isaiah's G, newbie. Ha ha. Good catching you live. Hey, Isaiah, I appreciate you, man. Anytime I see a new name in the comment section, it's always a good thing. A new name is a new a new viewer. Barrio Boy, do you know that individual Nor Records rap about Blinky from Frisco? Yeah. I fought Blinky when we were kids, man. I think we were about 14 years old and he's got a homeboy named smiley from 22nd both of them at different times blinky's blinky's like somewhat of a little of a little hood legend in, in the city now it's a lot of people like that cat man Send, send you my diet. You got to do burpees too, Goyle. Got to do burpees. Nothing strenuous only. All you got to do is is just do the just do the the dot series, the kicks. You ain't got to do the push ups. Just do all kicks. Boom, 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 boom. Fast and a lot of them. Did any of the COs ever try to fuck with you? I'm assuming they did. What do you mean? What, what, what kind of way fuck with me? Like, uh, fuck with me, fuck with me? 
Or fuck with me. What kind of fuck with me? No, I, I never really had no issues with the COs. I I um uh, I never conducted myself like that where I ever had issues with them where they would want to come at me sideways or, or push an issue. I I just didn't conduct myself like that, man. I never, uh, and there's a couple that uh, were funny style, but I stay away from those cats, man. I miss them in traffic. I, somebody like that, I just stay away from them. Raymond, what, what happened? With, I'm not going to lie. It's hard to listen to prison shit after my brother. Oh, man. Raymond, I'm sorry, bro. My condolences to you, too, my, my, my boy. I didn't know that. I didn't know your brother was up. Uh, didn't know your brother passed away out there, man. Have you ever gotten packed out by the South? Yeah, I've gotten packed out by the... Go back and look at one of my war stories. They packed me out in uh, in the city back in... Um, what is it? The first war story. I talk about that. I got a couple more. I've been packed out a couple times, man. All good, Raymond. Ray 40. Ray, have you ever heard of George Torres from L.A., owner of Mexican Market Uno, who was connected to organized crime? Mm, George Torres, nah. Not, not off. Not offhand. Oh. Did you ever meet any people from Merced? Yeah. I met quite a few homies from Merced. I don't remember a lot of their names, though. What's that fool's name? <clears throat> What's up, Sarah? <sighs> Saludos from the Salad Bowl, Monterey County. Shout out to Salinas, man. Nothing but love, man. All the way from motherfucking Alisal to the to the tracks to Chinatown down on Sunset to motherfucking uh Sanborn over the rider. You know what I mean. Hit Hard Ink, what's up, man? You ever ran in the Chato? Yeah, I've done a lot of time with Chato for Maravilla. I'm not saying this uh, in a bad way. You probably haven't seen a lot of my content. Uh, I talk about Chato and a lot of a lot of my old content. Because I spent, when Chato was on death row in San Quentin in the Adjustment Center, I was there with them for a while, man. So I had personal interactions with Chato. I was there when that situation took place with character, Jimmy Palmas uh, from, uh, Jimmy Palma from, uh, oh, fuck is his name of his hood? He's got it on his, Sangra, I think. I think his hood's Sangra. Can you elaborate on Game Time new series? Well, most definitely, Renee Q. So Game Time is a new series that I'm going to be dropping. And basically, I don't do all these reaction videos. I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a YouTuber that is going to try to talk about, like, put it like this, man. Let me just say this. I look real funny trying to tap in with people that, that are on these huge platforms 
that I mean that's clout chasing, right? So like if you're under a hundred, like somebody like me that's like got thirty thousand subs and shit, I look real funny trying to get into a conversation with somebody like fucking uh, some of these big ass uh, YouTube channels. You know, weighing in with my opinion about shit. Like, don't nobody fucking want to know about me. Don't nobody know I exist. So I don't do shit like, uh, you know, some some of the, some of these other slicksters, man. But what my what, what I will do is I'll talk about current current events, uh, things that are going on that a lot of you might know about. Um, I'll weigh in on different, you know opinions about things that are coming out in the in the mainstream media things like that but you know it's not a platform where i'm going to be doing all that other crazy shit tapping in on uh whack 100 and, and no jumper and, and, and all these other guys man they don't care about us <laughs> you know what i mean that's what it's about though it's uh it's just i'm, I'm trying to get away from typing out a lot of content that I used to put out because it is too time consuming. And I'm trying to just get into more, just open dialogue, open platform. It's best to stand on the radar. Yeah, but you, straight up, you know, Yeah, they don't like me, Demo. Hundred, what is it? Hundred fifty-seven people in there and sixty-six likes. Maybe those are all the actives, man. Hundred of them. What's up, Justice Keaton? What was your best fight in prison? In prison. Mm. It was with the, you want to know, I mean, my best fight. It wasn't a one-on-one. -on -one, it was a two-on-one. -on -one. It was a two-on-one, -on -one, uh, two Southsiders. And they wouldn't get down and I wouldn't get down. Because that was our policy. It, it We had a policy over there in Corcoran and shit, pretty much everywhere I've been. In, in uh, situations like that, but that was that was in prison. That was probably one of the best ones. And I I I, I don't know. Um, I I had another situation with two two uh, NLRs, and yeah, out of those two, I don't know. One of those two. They used to let a lot of Northerners go out by themselves over there in Corcoran, man. That's just how that's just how it was. And then I told you guys like uh, one time I had a celly in. Uh, we ended up getting put on two different yard programs because one time we went out and we got off, but they didn't see him, so he didn't get written up. I got written up. So that put us on different yard programs. So it got kind of funky after that. He had to go out and handle his business by himself. I'd have to do the same. What's up, Cesar Castellanos? You ever run into D Oakland? Talking about uh talking about Daryl Cost. D. Oh no, no, he's from he's from Hayward. D from Oakland. D. I don't know if it's the same one. Any more videos on your dealings in San Jose, Santa Clara County, the Elmwood and Main Jail videos? Yeah, I got I got more, Anthony, straight up, man. I'm telling you guys, I got a, I got a lot more uh I've been in a lot of situations, man. Over just put it like this. I mean it's to be expected, right? Over the years since since 1992, since I paroled from Susanville, I've been functioning in, I've been 
in the street functions, I've been involved. Every time I stepped out, I was always plugged in somewhere. So there's a lot of situations I was in out on the streets, not just because I was plugged in, but that's just the, the type of lifestyle I was living. So I got some uh, some more about Santa Clara, man. I stayed out there for two years. So if a northern were going for a murder, but let's say they took it to the extreme and cut off body parts, how would they be looked at? So it depends, homie. It depends on the circumstances of the case. Like, you know, me, if, if a case like that came before me, there's several things I, I'm gonna I'm gonna weigh out. Obviously, who the individual is, what it what his his history is. The fact that somebody cut some body parts off is not enough to deem him. There's there's reasons for something like that. Now, did he do it because he's just sick and he got a some kind of he got some some type of personal uh gratification out of it or 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 he enjoyed it i don't know but just based on that alone it's not you know there's a lot of things that come into play though man every situ situation is it's it's um like i said man it's um <sighs> What's that word I was I was using? It just depends on the situation. Circumstance circumstance based. You ever done time with Boxer Enriquez? I've been up there with them in Pelican Bay. We were in different different uh blocks though. Look at the camera. You want me to look at the camera, Rudy? Okay. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I apologize, man. You want to look me in my eyes? <laughs> way. Look in the camera, way. How am I supposed to read the comments? Can I, can I look at the comments? <laughs> oh, man. Now how they do it in Houston? It's all good, Rudy. It's all good, boy. my boy. I know you messing around, man. Speak right too. <laughs> okay. Someone could could cut someone up to dispose of the body, or it could be some weirdo shit. Yeah, right. Right, Mad Max. I mean, there's there's all kind of good reasons for it. Somebody, somebody, just that's why I, I was saying if somebody chops somebody up because they're trying to get rid of the body or something like that, as fucked up as it might seem to a lot of people, it's not a reason to 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 deem somebody. But this is somebody that cut up his mom and his dad and his his little cousin and hung the body parts from, from the fucking oak tree in the backyard and shit, from some ropes, and did some weirdo shit. I don't know, might have to think about if I want that cat around. He on some other some other type of shit. Uh, somebody like that's unstable. Boxer, if a northerner had a, a gift of gab and came in there for let's say having some on the, some on the blade, they get deemed for that or be looked down upon. Some on the blade. Hey, excuse me, man. I'm a square, homie. What does that mean? You get the gab and came in there for, let's say, having some on the blade. Having some on the blade. Hmm. Would they get deemed? For that or be looked looked down upon. Fact 
facts specific is what I was thinking of. But come again, uh, S1. AG, what's up, man? Let me see. Where's the guy at real quick? Oh, pimping. See, I, I'm square, homie. I apologize, man. Mmm. Uh, shit. You know, hey, man, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm not into pimping. Blade means host. Or how you know that? And I don't know that. I guess I'm a square, man. If they were pimping. I'm not going to. Hey, I'm not into pimping. Okay, but I'm going to tell you guys a short story. And, and I have nothing but respect for women because my mom ended up getting, she, she was pushed into that type of shit when she was younger. Um, oh, this story gets better too, man. Look, so I'm, yeah, I'm going to make this one quick, man. Look. So the, the homies from Frisco came out to Salinas when I was living in, when I was out there in Salinas and they brought one of my homies, Mo from Proceed Apart. Hey, good looking out, Tito Skins, man. For the raffle, I got you five. That's, <laughs> that's right, Farmero, I appreciate you, man. Um, so the homies from Frisco came out, who else was it? Hey, good looking out, Fish Slayer. I appreciate you, man. I'm sorry, bro. I missed you. And, uh, they brought a female out there and she was, uh, she was, uh, one of those, she was like Cambodian. She was Cambodian, I know, right? And she was like 26, something like that. And me and Smokey were out there, right? Yeah, if you're pimping minors, you're in trouble, boy. Don't even, there ain't nothing to even talk about. So anyway, long story short, we weren't expecting this, but Mo, my homeboy, was like, he told this female, he's like, check it out. I'm gonna let I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you stay out here with these two for about four days. You do whatever they tell you to do. And I mean, I didn't even want her to stay out there. He was like, whatever they tell you to do, you do it. They tell you do something, you do it. You do that, you do it, you do it, you do it. And she's like, yes, daddy, right? He got her trained. That's his thing. He's fucking pimping out there. I don't know how pimps and get into that shit, how they in, would even enjoy doing something like that, man, because it's more hassle than, look, man, the first day, Smokey, I was like, I'm gone, bro. You can kick it with her. You can do whatever you want to do with her. I got, I got to, I got shit I got to take care of. So he stayed with her. I ain't going to put you out there, Smokey. I know what you've done, boy. You's a fucking dirty man, too. So anyway, Smokey and his brother kicked it with her that night. The next day, they put her on the track. He needed some time with his family, so he brought her to my place. I didn't want nothing to do with but I had to buy her clothes, feed her, and then somebody calls some bisas, and next thing you know, man, there's like 500 bisas show up. 500 bisas show up, man. I'm not even lying to you guys. They put a sheet up. She was in another room. Motherfuckers come going in, coming out, going in, coming out, going in, coming out. At one point, she, she, uh, she she ends up coming out and she's crying and she's like fucking bullshit man look at all these motherfuckers i'm not, I'm not fucking doing all this i'm like hey you ain't got to do none of this shit you know what i'm saying you want me to tell him leave i'll tell him leave right now and then she was like she came out and she was like one bit me and then i was like hey all you motherfuckers get up out of here get the fuck up out of here man so i ran them all off man uh, <clears throat> but my point is it's just it was like a liability for me, man. Uh, just, to, just to have her out there to, 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 to feed her, to, to clothe her, to, to watch over what she was doing, and it's not my thing. Not my thing, man. Um, but the crazy thing is, 
So, like I told you, she she had went back there with probably like 50 dudes. Lentil, Lentil's punk ass was there too. He ended up showing up and this bride didn't work, brush her teeth. She didn't brush her teeth. She didn't do nothing, but she came right out and French kiss this cat. And as soon as she did that, me and Smokey just looked at each other and were like, oh, hell no, man. Straight busted slobs. You know, I, I personally, um, yeah, one paisa fucked it all off for the rest. Yeah, straight up. But, you know, I got mixed feelings about that, man. My mom was pushed into that lifestyle. Uh, you know, I wouldn't want my daughter doing no shit like that. I wouldn't want. Uh, I got female family that do, you know, that I wouldn't want put on the track like that. So. It was something that happened. Um, I don't know how dudes get me myself. I look at I look at people like like pimps. I just look at them as some weak motherfuckers, man. You can't go out and you got to put a female on the track, and you can't you can't go out and make your own bread. You know, it's like praying. I just that's how I look at it, you know. But it's it was an experience that I had one experience, um, and. Uh, it was more of a headache than anything, man. But French kiss, bro. And I'm not I'm not even playing, Lupe. Didn't go and shower. Didn't go wash up. Went straight from behind the curtain. Came out and busted slobs on me. Swear to God. But these biceps, man. I had I had the homie call like he said he knew some he called I thought he was gonna call like three or four bices man I look outside man there's like fifty fucking bices out there fifty of them I'm not I'm not even putting too much on it man fifty she came out the room and she looked and she was like oh, you guys are fucked up man I'm, I'm not I'm not fucking all them motherfuckers man fuck that. Five minutes later, she came out and said one of them was, was biting on her, man. So, yeah, them vices was wilding out, boy. Super nasty. Send her to a visit two times a month. You'll make more on them blades in 90 days. Yeah, they make a lot of money, man. She, she made a lot of money, I'll tell you that. Is it the same female from exactly Boyle? Same one. It was the halfway house that it was the halfway house where, where it happened at. One of the rooms, we just put a, a sheet up and that's where it happened at. Good, homie. All of them, man. Yeah, they would have. They don't care, man. Their vices, they was ready to tear her up, boy. How the trucks, how the trucks doing, Lucky? Spicer had Mike syndrome. Yeah. Lucky we didn't whoop his ass, man. Get your motherfucking ass up out of here, man. Any of you guys check out the the new Bandidos, the chapter? Any of you guys into uh, the chapters? Is that only the truckers, man? The guys that are on the freeway all all, all night. Shiva, Celestial says Shiva. Shiva. You, you uh you check that out uh goyo well if you notice i edited that chapter so i added a new element to it man instead of uh 
you just looking at the 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 um the cover for the entire thing you know if there's some of you that still look at your phone while it's playing i put i incorporated pictures in there now so like uh when i do the tonight i'm gonna do the other one uh my bloody life on the latin kings i'm gonna just gonna incorporate pictures of like latin kings different gives it a new look man all right aaron you checked it out did you ever hang in susan sunnyvale sunnyvale thought you said sunnydale um i've been out there but i never really kicked it out there like that on I'm, I'm checking out the new banditos but i can't find the the first chapter Riding with evil infiltration of pagans. Uh, I, I seen that one, uh, Machete. I was gonna read that one too, but I got like fucking three infiltration uh, biker themed books right now. Hell's Angels, Banditos, and uh, the Mongols. See, you can't find the first chapter of. Talking about Willis. Chapter two. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, go on there. Chapter one's right there. And then chapter two. Matter of fact, chapter two is part one and part two. Oh hell yeah, Mr. Me. I was uh one of the, I was one of the, the homies that was pushing most of one of the homeboys that was pushing uh top three on the yard, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got it? Yeah, it's on there, homie. Are they aren't they in a playlist? Because if they're not in a playlist, man, I'll I'll make I'll make playlist. Let me see. Playlist. Q&A, War Stories, No Angel, My Bloody Life. So you got the, go on the playlist, homie. Um, go into the library and then go on the playlist. You got, the first one is probably the intro, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. Chapter four is uh, two parts. 
chapter five is two parts and chapter six what that's my bloody life man my bad you're talking about banditos man fuck Okay, I'll, I'll make a playlist only. I don't think the playlist is set up because it's only the second chapter. So when I get out of here, I'll, I'll get off this live. I'll do it. That way it's easier to. Manage like that. Yeah, it's the only one that's, that doesn't have a playlist. Matter of fact. When you were in prison, did you ever think it would be? Did you ever think you would be shaving, sharing your experience on YouTube and help out? <laughs> no, man. Absolutely 100% negatory. No, man, he don't tell me that, man. The, the new war stories, was it repeating? I tell you what, man, Sandman is is editing those. I know he's sick, but don't tell me that. Anybody else have that issue with war sto war stories, the newest one repeating? Yeah, it is. Appreciate that, man. OG, quadruple OG. <laughs> the war story from Salinas brought back fun times. Yeah, I'm sure it did. It brought back memories for all of us, man. All right, Lucky Loco, man. You have a good one, my boy. Fox is about to put Sandman on freeze now, pending full investigation. You know how we do it. <laughs> Which ones, he said. We said it was episode seven, right? Had to be episode. That's the isn't episode seven the last one. Was it the Salinas one that was repeating? No, straight up. Yeah, I'm not jumping on him, big figures, because he's doing that shit sick, man. So. I just told him just just make sure he tries to double check. You might you guys might end up hearing me like say something that you shouldn't hear me say like cussing. Fuck, me. bitch ass mother. You know what I mean? Or Sam, man, back this up until the last sentence. Said he probably didn't cut back far enough. All good, homie. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think so. The, the bar incident. Oh no, that wasn't the last one. That was uh oh make sure you put that so make sure you put the new intro. So I I, I got uh something uh, something else you guys are gonna see. It's another new look. So I got always trying to make it better, man. Always trying to make the content better. So we got new intros for every type of content that comes out. Whether it's war stories, inner demons, the book chapters, or game time. There's not only an intro, a lot of people have intros, but what they don't have, and if all of a sudden they start having them, they're fucking jocking, is outros. You guys know what an outro is? The outro is at the end of the video. A video that that uh, signs off. So, just trying to give it a new look, man. Another element, you know what I mean? What's good, EBK? I send mine right back. Hey, like I told you guys too, man. If you guys ain't tapped in the uh, EBK family, man, tap in, tap into his channel. He got a cool channel. Him and uh, him and his boy Renegade Media. Interesting cats, man. Oh, as well as keeping it 100. Those some those are some up and coming channels. They got good content, man. But uh, yeah, the outros, the outros are like they're like intros, but it's at the end of the video. So like I said, man, we're just trying to always trying to find ways to make the shit look better, more professional. Anthony831, what's up, boy? Manny Reyes, tell Sam Manny, get some. Get a relic. It takes all the pain from stones. Yeah, man, I don't know shit about kidney stones, but I, I heard, fuck, man. I heard they fucking hurt, man. When's the shoe raffle going down? I'm trying to do it this uh this next weekend. Just trying to get some more people to, to get in, man. Uh what what shoes do you guys want to see raffled off, man? Is is there a, is there a certain pair of shoes? Look, man, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you guys a few. I meant to put these all in one one folder, so you guys could see but like this is your guys's raffle man so if you if there's a certain pair of shoes you want to see get raffled off speak on it homie i keep showing you i keep showing you guys too uh, these last ones These ones right here, they got the yellow ones too. If you guys don't like these, they got the yellow ones. They're just like these. I think they got the orange ones. Oh, uh, and then the regular, the regular Jordans. These ones right there. All of them, are, they're all dope, man. Every last pair of them. I keep telling you guys, though, them motherfuckers fit my feet, man. So you guys keep bullshitting. I'm just going to keep putting them on. Every every time I feel like, yeah, they are clean. I'm, every time I feel like throwing on a new pair, and that's whenever I get a scuff. Any kind of scuff, man, I, I put a new pair on. You know, you, you guys know how it is, man. That's that's mandatory. 
That's an HHP, homie. So, got those. Got all these, all these different pairs right there. All in my closet, man. And then uh I got the Cardinal the Cardinal Reds Fucking go. Cabela boots. If the Cardinal Reds are, those motherfuckers are, uh, they're cool too, man. Here they go right there. These ones. Then I got the per the the purple ones. Let me see. Uh, we got these bloodlines. In a, in a bunch more, man. So speak on it, man. Here's the purple ones. They're clean, too. What's good? Fresno 559. Shout out to Fresno, man. Then you got the brown ones. With the matching tee, I got matching T-shirts with all the all these uh, shoes too, man. Maybe I'll put a poll up or something in the fucking uh, in the comments. Got the Laker, the Laker colors. These right here are clean too, man, with the matching t-shirt. You guys ain't knowing, man. All right, enough of that. Box on the on the threes, Cardinal Reds. What does it have have on the on the back? On the back of the Cardinal Reds? Right here, Machete. Is that what you're talking about? I'll put a poll up. Yes, sir. EJ. How you doing, T-Cerna? 
some OG winos. How about some motherfucking jellies, man? You want some jellies, Lupe? Or some baskets? I should make a video of the burpees you used to do. <laughs> Ooh. I'll work on that, man. Straight motherfucking pasole on mine too, homie. You know what's up, Ferny Fern? Some all white fours. Yeah, those are clean too. All black fours. Some county chocolates. How about some of them old, them uh, Pelican Bay? Uh, Chuck Taylor's man. But he's called bubble gums. Air Max. Yep. Some Bruce Lee's. How about some oh, Jack Flaps? Remember those box Bruce Lee's? Yeah, the Jack Flaps, right? That they used to give you in the reception center. You'd be better off. You'd be better off squabbing barefoot than to try to fight with them things on, man. Some shacks, afford, affordable and stylish. Send mine's right back, uh, Fern. Bob Barker's SAO. I got SAOs on my raffle. I got the black ones and the beige ones. I got a pair. I got around 15 pairs of some other shoes i'm just going to give to you guys straight up however if you're not size i'm gonna say they're 11s or 11 and a half then i can't help you man because these are free brand new but they're cool Would you ever wear the, the Yeezys, the Yeezy foam slides? I had to see them. Box didn't start banging until 2007 when I was 16. I grew up, I grew out of, grew out of it when I had my kids. But I have had a couple homies tell me they roll up because homeboys don't respect homies from Fresno. Is it true? Uh I mean. Homie, you gotta understand that 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 whole separation it caused it caused I'm sure it caused a lot of bad blood on both sides, man. So I understand what they're saying because because of that separation and because of the history that it's been a it's been a conflict over the years. There probably is a lot of cats that don't respect homeboys from Fresno. I personally think Fresno was one of our strongest cars back in the day, man. Homeboys, it was a lot of a lot of good people out of Fresno. And um that was heartbreaking, man, to see that I was there when that conflict started, when it when it escalated and when it turned into a full-fledged conflict. So I seen it happen. I was out there on the yard with Fresno before that conflict. But yeah, you're probably getting a lot of that. You're probably hearing about a lot of that because of individuals that have been they've been educated to 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 believe that to have a, a a negative outlook towards homeboys from fresno so i know what you're saying and unfortunately there probably is some truth to it you know but you gotta you gotta respect uh you gotta respect homeboys from fresno Zug. It doesn't matter who it is. Them cats have, have gone to war, have gone up. They don't care, man. A lot of homies out there, they don't care. They get into it with the North North Daniels, they get into it with the South Siders, they get into it with DOs, they get into it with the, the dropout clicks. What's good, Maxine? 
Angel Soria. When you dropping another inner demons, I just dropped one tonight. Angel, it's being, um, it's being edited right now. It'll probably come out within the next hour. I've been uh, dropping so many war stories that, that I forgot to give inner demons some love, man. So I dropped a good one for you guys. It's, it's probably like an hour and twenty minutes. Uh, maybe an hour and ten minutes. What about the Reebok pump? Yeah, some hoops. Just my size, 11 and a half. Well, you good then. Roberto Escobar, what's up, man? Any size, 16. 16. All right, man, I wear 13s, man. 16s, you, you must be a big boy. Fucking 16. You didn't say it's say 13 and a half, 14, 15, 16. You on that shack shack uh status, man. That's right. Yeah, BB straight up. Is that right? That's how you feel? Box in Fresno County, from what you know, who's the minority? The homies or upstaters? Gotta always respect the underdogs. In Fresno County, I probably say the homies, man. I don't know. I don't know how deep for uh, upstaters are out there in Fresno County. He said, "Don't get it twisted. Fresno is with it." Yeah, anybody that don't think so, man, there. Box De La Fonte. From K, the hill, Jeff Reynolds. What's that, man? Della Fonte. What is that? Some is that some fucking uh some French? It's sad that our people are still split because of something as non-beneficial as gangs. Let them know. Let them know, Lupe. I'm new to your channel, Karna. You got a lot of good stories. Respect to you and your channel. I appreciate you, Weddle. Lira. Like I said, man, it's always good to see new names because that means they're new, they're new people. This 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 is a drama free platform as well man we don't get in the bullshit we on some grown folk shit over here man but yeah i appreciate you man and um i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep pushing inner demons and war stories and I'm, I'm eventually gonna drop this new series um game time This could be. I'm going to finally dive in on the inner demons. You know how I am. I apologize in advance for my late comments. I truly enjoy all the book reading. Um, yeah, it helps me through my work days. But I said, hey, it's all good, homie. I'm glad I can help, man, get through a shit eight hour day, man. 16s are not boats, box. Them are yachts. <laughs> Straight up, man. Man said sixteens, boy. Was there ever a C from Reedley? I remember meeting somebody around 2008 that claimed he was a C trying to start a regiment. Uh, from Reedley? 
Where was Chino from? I don't know, man. I'm not sure. Just do a little swag, like make your name low key proper. Oh, okay. Uh, what was that, man? Box de la Fonte. All right. I got you, man. Stocked on is with it. With them actives, with them activities and festivities, with them functions. You still wear high socks, Box? Man, they say the higher the socks, the more active the cholo or some shit. No, nah, man, I don't wear no, no high ass socks. That shit looks retarded, homie. Mid calf, mid, mid calf. Nothing cool about them high ass white socks, uh, especially them cats that wear high socks with the with the colors at the top the red rings the, the you know blue rings you ever see me like that man just fire on me as soon as you see me what up my boy been binge watching your channel do it hard keep pushing that YouTube line one time for your mind. That's right. That's right. Uh, unique, unique, unique one four oh eight. Someone like Richard Ramirez, a nice stock, could be allowed to join the NF or walk the yard with the ends. Fuck no. I tried to get that dude hit in uh San Quentin when he was on the. Hey man, that dude being around that dude, I seen that. I never talked to him because I didn't like I didn't like the motherfucker. He came when I was in the adjustment center. He went to the so whenever you go to death row, it's it's their protocol. No man, fuck somebody from prison right there. See, you guys that don't know seven one three that's prison, but you are gonna have to wait. Man. So. Whenever you whenever you catch the death penalty, it's it's protocol. You go through Quentin and um, let me just tell this cat, man. Call him another time, man. Prison, California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. To refuse, hang up now. Thank you for using Global Tail Link. What's good with it, Brad? What's up, bro? Hey. Hey, I got, I got my reset shit papers. Huh? I got my reset papers to go back to quarter October 10th. Oh, Here's shit. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I need to, I need to hey, holler. Huh? I'm on a live right now. Shit. What's the number? Hey, what's the number? Uh huh. Uh huh. I got you. I'll let her know, man. Hey, hey, try to hit me back tomorrow. I need to holler at you about something, man. Okay. All right, um. Okay. All right. Hey, uh. So, and it, when you catch the death penalty, you got to go through Quentin. It's protocol, and uh, uh you got to go through the adjustment center for like a ninety-day observation for them. Anyway, Night Stalker came through. Instead of them putting them on walk alone or putting them on one of them weirdo yards, they put them on the integrated yard. There was no Northerners out there. Yard I was on was an NF BGF yard. Then they had the South Sider, or the Mexican Mafia, uh, Aryan Brotherhood yard. But the integrated yard was a mixed bag. Anyway, there was two white cats over there that were under the BGF. It was crazy. But these cats, um, 
they would remove anybody that was racist or just anybody that we put them on. They were like two pit bulls and the cat that was on death row, BGF cat, he would literally just tell me, hey, go get rid of that dude right there. And they would just go and these dudes are, they didn't look like fucking, uh, they, did, they just didn't look that, that type. They didn't look that like they were the type of dudes that would do what they were doing. But my point is, so the Night Stalker, he, I remember one time we had somebody dusted off over there. And he was like, wow, that dude moved like a panther. That was crazy, man. I was like, man, shut the fuck up, man. But I told that Africano, I was trying to tell him, hey, man, let's get that motherfucker hit, man. Have some, have them dudes hit that dude. And his whole thing was, dude was too hot at that time. Inside Edition, uh, all them news shows were coming up to see him at that time. And he was like, I don't want to put them in that position anybody that touches that dude right now they'll get they'll be on the morning news they'll be on the front page newspaper so he promised me that he'd have him hit but that dude ended up fucking locking it up and going over there with richard allen davis on the same yard they were neighbors all cuddled up they were in cell uh one east 100 and one east 101 but i tried man I would have did boxer. I would have too. He's a little dude. You would think he's like some big dude, all ripped up or little raggedy ass cat, man. Pock face motherfucker. I remember being locked up. I called my homeboy's pad. He would be there. His dad would accept the charges and shoot the shit with me for all 15 minutes. Yeah. You remember that, huh? On the phone, in the cell, pillow talking to a torta, <laughs> making sure she hook up that green dot. Hard times. Cold piece of work. Torta. Boxer has Sandman ever told you, Box, you got to do this video over. It's not up to your standards. Um, You know what? Honestly, homie, he has, bro. Because I always tell him, hey, man, tell me what you think. If it's if it's not up to if it's not up to par, you don't think it's good, man. You don't think I was on my A game. Don't post that motherfucker. I'll do it again. That even goes for the chapters. If, if if it sound if I didn't sound like I was on my shit, uh, he's told me before. But but it, it's far and few. I'm probably my biggest critic, man. I'll probably start a video, like an inner demons or a war story. I'll probably start the motherfucker fifty times before I start because I, I'll I'll fuck up in the beginning. No booze. I I went through an hour before like that multiple times. Starting it out and then getting to a spot where I just start fucking up or I get brain locked and I'm like, fuck, start over, get out, start again, start over, get out, start again. So, yeah, he's t he's told me, man, and, he, and he's uh, he can be honest with me. No, I'd rather be honest because I don't want to start getting out mediocre content or content that I, I don't feel like I gave a full effort. If it's garbage, it's garbage, man. You know, that, that's why some of you, if, you know, that, that, that Samoan video, the three Usos that knocked my grill out, <laughs> if, if you guys remember in the, I think I said it in the video or, or one of the videos, but I sent him the video and I told him I didn't want him to post it. He read, he watched it. Somehow we miscommunicated. He thought I meant to check it out if he thought it was good enough to post it. I went on there the next morning and it was live. So I pulled it. And that's why, because the night I did that, I had dropped another video and I just did that just to get something out. And I felt like it was rushed and I could have done better, man. So have you ever Mac on the female CO box? 
You ever had them on the pump? Um. I've been involved before, bro. Straight up. Uh, and I'm not saying that like I'm uh, uh, Romeo over here, like I'm some some kind of Casanova, man. But it, it uh, I think a lot of the times too, when females and and, and I'm, I'm not trying to be a dog, man. I'm just being honest. A lot of times, man, when we're locked up in those type of environments, there's 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 women that obviously look good, and then there's women that they probably don't get a lot of attention. You know what I mean? They probably don't get a whole lot of attention, man. And um, so all of a sudden, somebody's giving them that that kind of attention and making them feel like like they're the the, the centerpiece in your world. And you know, over a six month period of time, you're interacting with her. She's just like anybody else. You, you forge relationships with them just like anybody else, man. And no. Uh, Look at look at all this shit. I mean, it happens all the time. You hear about it in the media. Some of these these nurses that they're probably not the prettiest, but for women, for some women, that is it's a safe relationship because for one, they know where the fuck their man's at. For two, you can't cheat on them. You can't hurt them. For three, you know what I mean. Uh, uh, guys that are locked up. Will 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 shower females with compliments and they'll put them on a pedestal. And you don't get that out here. You just don't get it. They they don't get that kind of attention out here, man. So, and they know that. You know, for some, I think they they look for those type of relationships. Like, come on, man. What 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 are you gonna hook up with somebody that's got life for? They ain't never coming home. Why would you even invest in a relationship like that? when there's no type of phys physical, uh, you, you don't get to have no type of intimate uh, relationship. There's there's no physical part of it. But yeah, man, no. Uh, I have. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Sometimes you sometimes you might have to take one for the home team just just to get what you want, you know. Um, I mean, let's be honest, man. Like, when we're in jail, we're locked up. There, we're like fucking. We want. There's nothing that we don't. We want for everything. Everything. We're like some needy motherfuckers, man. We want money. We want food. We want. You're deprived of everything, so. You get somebody in there that's willing to do something for you. She might not look the best, but you're going to go ahead and, and do what you got to do so that you can get you an onion every now and then or get you a couple tortillas or a motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying, man. Then again, there's real relationships that come out of that shit too. You'd be surprised, man. People meet under the craziest circumstances, man. You can meet somebody in there and end up having a long-term relationship, man. My boy got a CO pregnant. Ain't that just... Fucker hit a home run, huh? Cold piece of work. Gonna go toss your salad and eat it. <laughs> Everlasting base, you a cold cat, man. Toss the salad and eat her box for commissary items. Times are rough. Go brush your teeth on me. Box, if you're a lifer, can get C 
box if you're a lifer conjugal visits i think i i want to say they changed that law now i want to say now now under certain circumstances there's like a certain criteria that you have to meet and you can I say all the time, I ain't taking one for the team. With me, it's building a team. BBW game. Um, how's your foot, boxer? I cut that motherfucker off, homie. I was tired of dealing with it. I'm walking on a fucking stub right now. You, you didn't hear about that? I had that shit amputated, bro. I got a, a prosthetic now. With some, uh, it's got with some lightweight hydraulics in it. it uh, well, they're not hydraulics; they're prosthetics. Nah, not for real, man. I'm I'm messing around, bro. I was in the bay when they took conjugal visits from lifers. Word on the yard was it was going to go down, but nothing happened. Yeah. Take a man's, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I mean, what do you expect? I mean, goddamn, man, uh, what else can you deprive a motherfucker of, man? That probably make prison not so bad for some people. And they said boxer doesn't have a sense of humor, right? I'm telling, I'm misunderstood, bro. Yeah, uh, Greg, Greg Guzman, peg leg, box is still helicopter kick, someone with, with the fake leg, yeah, man, flying helicopter kick. Either that or a backwards donkey kick, bro. Showing love from the, from the Valle Coachella, that's right, shout out to Coachella, man. You should have had that hunger strike to get back conjugal visit instead of being all doped out on the yard for real huh? yeah they should have threw that in definitely man how about a little bit of that too box you meant gold toe since he's yeah i grew up with all those dudes man gold toes uh his whole crew So we were cut short for time on your last live trickle up effect. Who has access to the cash flow? And what is it used for up top? And how is it sent to the top? Please let well, one of the things that that uh that I seen that it's used for is personal accounts. That, uh they were playing Wall Street, man. Everybody had an account. Uh they were trying to play stocks and bonds. Um that money it's it's a trip it was like the way that it's referred to is like that's my money that like that ten thousand or that twenty thousand that that was my money um it's divvied up against uh between brass what's it used for personal expenditures straight up man and you know occasionally um so There'll be different regiments in different different areas and you know you get somebody that i'm just gonna say in general terms i'm not gonna use anybody specifically but somebody's got somebody's running a regiment in an area and you get an rc that's out there and he doesn't have he's got limited resources and maybe he needs some money to break ground out there so you get a ten thousand dollar loan with interest isn't that crazy with interest man um 
so that's 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 my experience man the money money that's being generated from the regiments the way that it was back in the days the way that it was it was explained to all of us when the cause was the cause is that money's supposed to be for the less fortunate guys that are in the shoe program guys that are doing life dudes that have made ultimate sacrifices for the organization dudes that have been locked up for years and all their resources dry up because let's, let's let's keep it real man when you're doing life pretty soon you might have a, a thoroughbred and she might run for you for 15 20 years man if you're lucky 10 years is about the the norm but eventually she's gonna fall off she's gonna realize you know she's gonna meet somebody and people die and at some point, you know, some, some some homies, man, they just don't got nobody looking out for them no more. So that money's supposed to be for them. They can't buy a TV. They can't buy thermals. They can't go to canteen. It don't it don't happen, man. They don't divvy that money up and send it to homeboys like that, man. I've been in those pods. I've been around people. I've I, I've been around people that control that money, and I've been a part of that i was involved with that and it just doesn't it it doesn't get divvied up like that man nobody's thinking about homeboy and in two block uh, that don't have no money to go to canteen you're left to fend for yourself when you're out there and you're in your you're active and you're breaking ground and you're making money you're generating money and, and you're doing everything that you're told to, to do out there, you're, you're embraced and you're, uh, you're giving a lot of praise, man. But the minute you get arrested and get snatched up and get taken off the streets for pushing the, 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 the organization's agenda, you become a liability. And I, that's not no hate. I'm not on no... I'm not a, like I've said before, I'm not a DO that's on some sour shit. That's what, it's straight up, man. It, it's, you become a, just another hungry mouth to feed, man. That's, that's what it is. Um, you know, if it was different, it, it was different. It, I tell you guys, it, you know, they actually look out for some people or, or it's a big smoke screen, man. So what about the three on death row? I personally, if you read my book, and I've talked about this before, I was personally campaigning for those dudes. I, I knew uh, Silencio. I had personal dealings with Silencio, Spunkio, uh, Webble. And I thought, at least I thought personally as a C that had been around for a while at that time, that those brothers deserved to at least have be given a small regiment. Even if it's a five member regiment, give them something to generate some money because they're fending for themselves. And I kept getting turned down. They didn't get no help. The only reason Silencio is winning right now is because he's out of he's out of Queen. He's he's. He's out there on one of the main lines. But yeah, what about those three? I tried to, I tried for years to try to get them a regiment and I kept no explanation, just it's not happening. They're they're not a part of the street functions, and that's it. So they can't even have stop bringing it up, man. There's reasons why they're not being allowed to have a regiment. So NFMA are both corporate corporate facts. Anyone else who thinks otherwise is not very bright. Mm -hmm. Some people would even go as far as saying it's an ingenious, uh, you know, uh, something that was created by a, a group of lifers. Um, you know, for the purpose of, of generating 
money for them. I don't believe that. I believe that there was a cause at one time in, in that there was people that really believed in the cause and that, and that they were willing to fight and die for it, and they were. And then I think when, when the NF took his vision to the streets and then you, you involved money, money came into the fray and there was already uh, political power grabs going on within the organization. Um, anytime you have that, it's, 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 it's a Petri dish for corruption. It, it generate, whether you're talking about in the, the legal corporate world or the criminal world, it doesn't matter. It's all the same, man. It breeds corruption. Everybody's trying to eat. Everybody's trying to eat more than the next man. Money is the root of all evil. Yes, sir. Don't be mad at me for um, no telling you guys the truth. Doing 23, and I just doing 23, and I just makes people bitter. Yep, 23, 23. It is what it is. He's cool, man. Uh, anytime now, he should be tapping in. Just working. He's an old man. He stays tired, man. Let me see. Let me see if that... Uh, Not yet. <sighs> yep. Toko straight up, man. Appreciate you, BB. You have a good night, my boy. Straight truck trucking, just like the Italian mob, yeah. If you were still active, who would you side with? The feds. Mm-hmm. Did you know Ryder Speedy that hit Bugsy from once? Yeah. Yes, sir. Happy Equinox, boxer. Last day of summer today. Fall weather. <laughs> Happy Equinox. Yeah, Toko did too, man. You got a cold story too. Yeah, I knew Speedy Low. Mm-hmm. What does checking in mean? Reporting, like, you know, uh, touching, uh, 
Well, it, it could mean two things, man. Checking in mean could mean like you know somebody that's checking, really checking out. Uh, uh, it depends what, what you're talking about. The streets or like in, in prison slang, it's, it's like somebody that checks in is like they're checking out. But out there on the on the streets, like uh, like your boy six nine says, you got to check in with him whenever you, whenever you slide through New York. <laughs> All right, boxer and everybody, everybody else, brothers and sisters, you guys have a blessed night. Much love, respect to you and your families. I gotta get to the shower, and get up early in the morning. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go for like another ten minutes too. Uh, I had 200 people up in there, man. Until like around almost two hours. Um, Got to check in with Zod before going to LA. Uh, what a joke, man. Come on, man, really? Miguel Lopez, Shy Town in the house. What's up, Miguel? Politics is cutthroat and unforgiving. Yes, it is, man. Suavecito for 484. Saludos. Yeah, there you go. Checking in, locking it up. Same thing. Zodman SoCal. <laughs> Delirious, man. The whole system is twacked out. What's good, Box? Blessings, hey man. Right back at you, uh, Miguel. Shit. Rojo 650, Buenas Noches. Sharat. Man, how many times, man, how times have changed? You got little kids nowadays claiming to be active and asking people, not even knowing the meaning behind those words, checking in. Yeah. Box, you reflect on your career and feel like you ever made a bad call. Mm, a bad call. Be honest with you, uh, all right, Goyo, I see you, boy. Yeah, I'll show you something sometime, too, Goyo. You's a fool, boy. It's nice, though, man. Um, nah, uh, I'm, I'm just going to be honest, and I'm not saying that I'm beyond making a mistake, but everybody that I've dropped the hammer on, so to speak, uh, Martin 9400, I gave him the benefit of the doubt and I really weighed everything out, man. I wasn't the type of dude that, if anything, I was the type of C that would try to pull you off the BNL if I could. If it was, I listened, man, to a lot of a lot of homies that had homies that were on the BNL and a box. Can you just look into a situation and I'll be like, yeah, I'll check it out, man. If it, if I really could do something to help him, I'd save him. I've done it. Yeah. I've done it with, with a lot of homes. Spanky from the mob. I pulled him out. Look where he's at now. Uh, but I wasn't just the type of C that was out for blood and just got some type of personal rise from deeming a homeboy or, or, or power playing, man, and, and, and having homies whacked. So I don't think I did, man. 
I don't I don't think I did. I reflect back on some of the past things that I did. And to be honest with you, man, these war stories and, and the, the inner demons makes me reflect on it. I think it escalate magic. Mag mag. Yeah, magic. I think it's gonna escalate. That's it's a fucked up war too, man. Ukraine. Any stories on Watsonville? Yep. I got um I got some on Watsonville. Which beat that has the most in his I would probably say Quentin, man. San Quentin or maybe the maybe Tracy. One of the one of the reception centers. More than likely, at least I think. I don't know. San Quentin, I believe, has the most ends. Yeah. I was uh Mad Max. I challenge anybody that has done time with me to say anything different. I was always uh my my thing was I'd always give the homies the ben the same type of benefit of the doubt that I would expect in return. Wouldn't expect nothing more, nothing less. And that's how I used to do it, man. I didn't like to see homies get crossed up. It, it, it bothered me. I took it, I took it personal, man. Those that's that they're supposed to be my people, you know what I mean? So why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I try to save them? Why wouldn't I try to help them? Why wouldn't I throw a life jacket to them if if I could? I'm not working against them. You know, some people might say, say have different feelings about that later, because, but when I was active, man, um, it wasn't my thing, man. Oh, Lencho, Lencho's just a tyrant. He's just a greasy fucking slob, man. Fucking dude. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lencho thinks differently like that. It's all good, Anthony. I ain't tripping, man. My lady nephew is only 11 in the middle school, and he's trying to grow up, grow up Mongolian, and always wanting to be out in the streets. I tell him at the time to stay, stay in school, but he don't listen. Tiny Two Angels, 11. I've always said it, man, and, and it's just my personal opinion, but I think 11 is still young enough to... to to rein them back in, man. That's it's like right there at that age. I think 12 years old. 12 years old is the age where if you don't, if you haven't saved them, it's gonna be hard to get them after that. Because the street, once they've been exposed to the streets, the streets are gonna start pulling them back the other way, man. You know, and I, I say that from personal experience because I had people trying to help me when I was 12. But since I've been exposed to the streets and, and I seen all that stuff that glorified that I glorified and I wanted to be a part of and I seen how the homies got had that respect and I wanted that same respect. And I seen, you know, the the the, the nice cars and the and the money. I wanted all that. And I pushed back, man, against the people that were trying to help me. And I needed, I had to get go out and learn my own my own lessons after that man so don't give up on them man 11 years old i think you still got a chance to to pull them back anyway you guys i've been on here for two hours man um i'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm going to tap out, man. Hopefully, Sandman will be back. Hopefully, by tomorrow, he'll, he'll be done with his issues. 
Um, either way, you know, I'm gonna keep the the inner demons in the the war stories. I'm gonna keep keep pushing them out, man. Uh, the other content, I can't call it. Shit's all yellow, man. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, they'll they'll let me get them out sooner or later. I don't know. What, I, like I was saying a couple of days ago, I think YouTube has some new policies that are that they've implemented because I got videos that I done six months ago that have accumulated like hundred thousand views and now they're yellow. Makes no sense because they say they found issues in them. And so I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully it's it's something that's they'll figure out sometime soon. Other people I know have been having the same issue. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep uh put putting out conf- content. The the guys that like the 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 books, the chapters, I'm gonna keep dropping the chapters. I'm editing them myself now, so it's taken a little bit longer. I, I taught myself how to edit with the help of uh, somebody else. So anyway, man, no. Uh, Keep that, keep the raffle, man. You guys don't need the, you guys do not need me to be on a live to, to, to still get in the raffle. If we, uh, we get a few more people, fuck it. We'll just, we'll run it this week. If not, we'll try to let a couple more people get in, man. No, it, otherwise it's going to be a wash for a couple people that are in there with, that have bought like 15, 20 tickets by themselves. They're going to win. So I'm trying to make it fair. Anyway, you guys be safe. Be safe. Uh, I appreciate everybody that's that's supporting the channel, man. Uh, keep watching the videos. You guys are gonna see the new look. The, the the like I said, the the changes. You're gonna see them come to fruition as as we're implementing them. And I'm always trying to find new ways to make the channel better, man. Channel is up. It's a work in progress. Anyway, SFC, I see you. Boy, DJ, see no evil. Not relisting it. My dad, DJ, see no evil, said crazy people say you get negative stories not realizing it is a push. Yeah. I I had to, uh, in order to do war stories, I had to think about it, man, because I didn't want my channel to be about that stuff. But like I said before, man, for me, I think that there's a positive message that I'm giving by t- telling war stories because for those youngsters that are still glorifying that lifestyle, at least I'm letting them know that these are the type of situations that they're going to encounter if that's the life that they want to live. And I know I sound redundant, but I lived to be 52 because I was street savvy and because I was probably just a little smarter than the last guy. And even though I lost at some point in the political game, I knew how to play politics pretty good. But if you live, if you go down that path, you might not be, well, I don't call it luck. You might not be as fortunate. Just put it like that. So I think that's the positive message, man. But anyway, I'm just ranting and and blibber blabbling now. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it, man. But uh, again, I appreciate all you guys, man. Uh, Keep tapping in. Hit that like on your way out, man. Come on, man. One time. It helps. The algorithm. You know what I mean? Otherwise, the, the algorithm, whatever that shit's called, is going to say, man, this dude ain't getting no likes, so his motherfucking videos must be boo-boo, man. So help a motherfucker out one time, man. If you're active, ain't nobody going to know. I ain't going to tell nobody. <laughs> hey, you guys have a good night, man. Have a good night. Stay safe and I'm out.